school, so uh, kind of nearing my the end of my internship now, um, and I don't know, I kind of wanted to make this video I know, uh, in a way to find what lean means to me. Uh, I don't know, for some reason I've been pondering this entire summer about what is lean. I've seen multiple videos and I get their definitions, but I'm like, yeah, those are good and helpful, but I don't think that's really what lean means for me as in uh, what I see it as. So I still quite, haven't quite figured out a set definition, but uh, I think making this video, I'll kind of talk through it and it maybe it will solidify into a de definition for me personally. Um, Cause I don't think that lean has to necessarily be uh, defined in become one de one set definition. I think that uh, one aspect of lean is um, the creativity, and you can really lean can be defined differently by each person um, as they learn lean in different ways and the different experiences they all have. I think it makes for uh, it being a very interesting kind of way that define it on your own from your experiences uh, and upbringing of lean in a sense. For me, what lean is, is changing minds and hearts of clients. And what I mean when I say clients is that uh, client care which is the next person in line. Um, so this means that we're changing the hearts and minds, the attitudes and thoughts of everyone in the building to care about the next person. Um, and how we go about doing this is with Kaizen, um, which is small improvements. Um, and that in increases the quality of our client um, and ourselves. We are happier, um, we care about our work, we put more effort into what we do. Um, so I think for me, base definition, that's what it would be. Um, getting deeper into lean, um, I would say that ultimately the goal of lean is not to make money. If you're in it for the money, you're not in it. You you shouldn't be attempting it because you're not going to succeed. You're going to fail. Um, it's all about clients, um, which it, it comes to me now naturally when I think when I hear of a process or if I hear of lean. I'm like, okay, who is this going to benefit? Um, and not all. It doesn't always have to benefit the physical customer, but it, as long as it benefits someone in the company, then you're doing you're doing a good job, and you got to keep with it. Um, and so, yeah, that's kind of. It took me <laughs> it took me a few months, uh, a lot of deep thoughts uh, for me to uh, come to that realization. Um, but I think how you how you can use this definition is um, Paul Akers, he says it over and over, the, the first thing that he would do if he could go back is he would learn the eight wastes by heart. Um, not just memorize them, but learn them by heart. Um, and how you can apply that is when you know what the eight wastes are, you can really help your client or help the next person in line. Um, if you see that they have to have a bunch of wasted motion because of what you're doing and you try and eliminate that, that's caring for the next person. Um, and another thing, uh, talking about client care, uh, thinking about the next person, when you think more about the next person, you lose all status. Because uh, status is kind of a poison to lean. If you think you're better than someone else, then you better rethink lean because that's not what it's out about at all. Um, so when you think more about client care, you think about the next person which sheds away your status 
and that's imperative uh, if you want to be successful um, with caring about that next person. Um, so I don't know, that's kind of another point that I was thinking about. Um, so. so yeah, that was kind of the definition that I have for what lean is. Yeah, just let me know what you guys think. Uh, be interested to hear.